OK, time now to consider vertical asymptotes. And to do that, we have to take a look at what we mean when we say that the limit as x approaches c of f of x is infinity. And remember what we mean by that. We mean, OK, I've got something looking like this. And maybe my function looks like this. And we would say that if this is f of x, that the limit as x approaches c from the right of f of x is infinity. What do we mean when we say that? Well, informally, we mean that as you approach c from the right-hand side, the y values get larger and larger and larger without bound. So what does that mean here? We mean that for each positive number b, there exists a positive delta such that if 0 is less than the difference between x and c, but that distance is less than delta, then, oh, then the function is bigger than b. In other words, we say, no matter what you think the limit is, maybe you say that the function stops there, I can get close enough to C. I can make a delta band around C and say, nope, see, in this band, the function lives inside the band. And no matter how high we run B up the y-axis, we can always make delta small enough that the function goes inside that band and stays inside that band. That's the formal way to talk about a limit of infinity. And this idea is closely connected to the idea of a vertical asymptote. The line x equals a is a vertical asymptote of y equals f of x if either the limit as x approaches a from the right of f of x is infinity, or negative infinity, or the limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x is either infinity or negative infinity. Coming from the right, the limit is positive infinity. Coming from the left, the limit is negative infinity. If either of those were to be true, this line would be a vertical asymptote. So, find all asymptotes of y equals 2x plus 5 over x plus 3. All asymptotes. Well, the way we traditionally go at this is we look for the horizontal asymptotes first. And to do horizontal asymptotes, we take the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x plus 5 over x plus 3. And that's, well, I know what this is. I'm going to divide everybody by the highest power of x. The highest power of x is x. So I get this. And I say, well, what happens? As x gets really, really big, those go away, and I'm left with 2 over 1. That's 2. Now, it turns out that that will also be the limit as x approaches negative infinity, because the numerator values are getting larger and larger in a negative direction, and the denominator values are getting larger and larger in a negative direction. Negative divided by negative stays positive. So y equals 2 is the only horizontal asymptote. As for vertical asymptotes, if I'm looking for where vertical asymptotes are, the nicest way to do that is to set the denominator equal to 0. And so you're thinking that x equals negative 3 is a vertical asymptote, and you would be right. Now, how do we do that? How do we show that in a semi-rigorous way? So we're going to take the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the left-hand side. As x approaches negative 3 from the left-hand side, we're looking at numbers like negative 3.00001.
Now what does that mean? Well that means that my numerator is going to be like negative 6-ish plus 5. And my denominator is going to be negative 3.000001 plus 3, which is basically 0. Now I'm going to use the notation negative 0, not because 0 is either positive or negative, but to show you, the viewer at home, that this is a number that's basically 0, but it's negative. And then middle school is going to take over for me. Non-zero divided by 0 blows up. Negative divided by negative is positive. And sure enough, if you were to stick this function in your graphing calculator and you were to look at negative 3 from the left-hand side, that function shoots up. Similarly, if x approaches negative 3 from the right-hand side, negative 3 from the right-hand side, that's negative 2.9999999. Negative 2.9999999. So plug that in there, I've got negative 1. Plug that in there, I've got basically 0. But negative 2.99999 plus 3 is barely positive. And so I'm going to use a notation, positive 0. It's just for this class, and it means a teeny tiny number that's positive. Well, middle school taught me that a negative divided by a positive is a negative, And high school taught me that non-zero divided by 0 blows up. And so no matter how you slice it, whether you look at the limit from the left or the limit from the right, you get one of the infinities, and so x equals negative 3 is a vertical asymptote. Okay, so something for you to consider. Might not be a bad idea to try them. Uh, might be not a bad idea to try to find all the asymptotes for this guy, and then to try to find all the asymptotes for this graph. So hit the pause button, try to find some asymptotes, and I'll let you know in about 10 seconds. OK, so you hit the pause button, and you figured out that there is one horizontal asymptote, and it's at y equals 3. And there is one vertical asymptote, and it's at x equals negative 2. Over on the right, you figured out that there are two horizontal asymptotes at 2 and at negative 2. And you figured out that there are two vertical asymptotes at plus or minus 1. Hopefully, uh, that's the way to go. Thanks, everybody.